Throughout her remarkable career, trailblazing engineer Edith Clark earned a great many firsts in the field of STEM. Clark, born in Howard County, Maryland in 1883, was the first woman to earn a degree in electrical engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the first professional employed female electrical engineer in the U.S., the first woman to be accepted as a full voting member of the American Institute of Electrical Engineers, and the first woman to teach in the electrical department at the University of Texas. But her ascent to these high-ranking positions was not an easy one. Clark endured great barriers as a woman in the male-dominated engineering field. After graduating from Vassar College in 1908 with honors, she worked for AT&T in New York as a computer of math equations. She soon left and enrolled in MIT, but after earning her degree, found that no one would hire her as a professional engineer because she was a woman. So she went back to work as a computer again, this time for General Electric. In 1921, still unable to gain a position as an engineer, she left GE to teach physics at Constantinople's Women's College in Turkey. The following year, GE rehired her as an electrical engineer in the Central Station Engineering Department. Clark remained with GE until her retirement in 1945.